learn how to upload your custom imagery or raster data set from ArtGIS Pro to ArtGIS Online while keeping your credits low. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. Before you continue to watch, please take a moment to hit subscribe below if you haven't already. So today we will learn how to upload your custom imagery, Rasta or Rasta data set to ArtGIS Online using ArtGIS Pro. The last tutorial showed you how to do this in ArtMap, so you can check that out. To get started, it's always a good idea to copy your rasters to one location. I have 20 sheets that I want to upload to ArtGIS Online, totaling 5 gigabytes. That equates to a lot of credits, more than I actually have. So we will cache it. First thing we will need to do is to create a new Mosaic data set. These are usually stored in a geodatabase, so you can either create a new geodatabase and then the, create the Mosaic, or you can use an existing geodatabase to do this. After creating your mosaic dataset, you will add rasters to it. For me, I selected that I wanted to add my rasters from existing files since I literally have 20 separate raster files and um, I want to upload these. So I browse to that location where I created my copy or where I saved my copy of those files. This may take a while to do, especially if you have very large files. But once that's done, you will see the boundary and footprint of each raster in the Mosaic dataset. You see the actual images when you zoom in a, a, a lot closer, uh, but I actually want to be able to see these images um, first as an overview and of course as I zoom in further and further. So in order to do this, I would need to build my overview. After building my overview, I want to start building my cache. So I search for and find the manage tile cache tool to create the tile cache. I want to use the ArtGIS online tiling scheme since this is where we will actually be using it.
and now that we've created the tile cache, I want to export it to a tile package. Since this is the actual file type that we're allowed to share to ArcGIS Online. I search for the export tile cache tool and I'm sure to select that I want to export a tile package. I can export either a TPK or a TPKX file. It said that the TPKX files are made for later versions of the ArcGIS product line, especially ArcGIS Online. So we can we, we really can select either one. But now it, it is said that TPKX works better for ArcGIS Online. I have my tile package and I want to now share it to ArcGIS Online. So I search for and run the share package tool. The good thing about sharing through ArcGIS Pro is that while you are sharing the tile package, you can also publish it as a hosted layer. So that definitely saves you a bit of time. After sharing and publishing is complete, I log into ArcGIS Online to select the tile layer and this time I want to add it to a web scene.
In the next tutorial, we will go through using the new version of the collector for ArcGIS. As usual, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this tutorial with a friend or colleague who you believe would benefit from this information. Also, leave a comment down below to let me know how you like the tutorials or if you have any other tutorials that you would like to see. Thanks again and see you next time.